Okay, so today uh, we're going to work on uh, a Google slide. Okay, there's a Google slide posted in Schoology. It's uh, today's assignment. Okay, uh, I do not expect you guys to finish this today. Okay, it is... Um, it's 17 slides, Ooh, okay? And so, like I said, I don't expect you guys to finish it today, um, but I wanted to kind of break down what you're gonna do on each little slide so that, uh, that you guys aren't confused, especially my online learners, okay? So on the uh, second slide, okay, there is a, ed, what's called an edge puzzle, okay? You are going to, uh, you're going to click on the second slide, okay, and it's going to pull up a, it says Ed Puzzle Crash Course Warm Up. You'll click on the video, okay, and it pulls up a link here, and it will take you to a video, and the video asks you questions right here. It tells you at 8 seconds, at a minute and 3 seconds, at 2 minutes and 37 seconds, so when the question pops up on the video, you'll just answer the question. Okay, so that's what we're doing on that first slide. Okay, then on the next slide, it's going to ask you to uh, drag and drop each event to the correct spot. Okay, so if you will click on an event, then you can click on right here, and it'll allow you to drag this event into whichever date it correctly goes into. Okay, you guys may use... Um, your resources, if you can't figure it out on your own, you guys can try it, you can Google it to help you figure it out, okay? Then on the next slide, it's uh, vocabulary, fill in the blank words, all right? So you guys have a word bank up top and you will answer the questions here. So you'll find the word in the word bank and enter it in on the box down here until you have um all of them answered okay so that's what you're doing on there filling in the vocab words in in, in the box okay and then the next slide after that uh is three pictures it's talking about drag and drop the pictures um, from the right into the box with a description that it best matches uh, then at the bottom box, justify uh, why you place each image where you did it, okay? So you'll drag each image to where it goes, okay? So similar to the other one, you'll drag an image over, okay, like that. Okay. And then you'll type down here why you think that goes there. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay, we're seeing what, how you do that. All right. Um, and then the slide after, okay, is, um, says, use the shape tool to draw a blue arrow from Africa to the Caribbean. Use the shape tool to draw a green arrow from North America to Europe and use the shape tool to draw a red arrow from Europe to Africa. And then it says here, this exchange is known as the blank trade. Okay? Maya, you know it? Yeah, I think. Go for it. It's like the slave trade, right? The slave trade, right? That is correct, okay? Known as the triangular slave trade or the transatlantic slave trade, okay? But you guys will draw the arrows that connects everything to each other. Okay, and I think that might be as far as we get today. Like I said, this size is about 17 slides. So if you guys wanna work ahead, if you get further than that, you guys are welcome to, uh, if you have time left in class, but especially if you're an online student, you need to, you don't need to go a whole lot further than about slide six, okay? Um, so we'll work on this and continue it next week, all right? So hope this all makes sense. If you guys have any questions, obviously if you're here in person, just ask me if you guys are online, uh, please shoot me an email or message me on Schoology, all right?